Now, how did you end up going to St. Francis for high school? The Holy Rosary only went to the 11th grade, 10th grade. They didn't have 11 or 12. And what year was that you went down there? About 30, 38, 39. Something like that? Yeah. Okay. That's 41. I was in St. Francis. They were 40 and 41. And they had a full 12 grades then? Yeah. So yeah, they, they, they had that high school all as long as I remember. You know. So how'd you end up coaching the basketball team? <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a championship basketball team, a national... We were undefeated for two years. Sir. Yeah. At St. Francis? Yeah. You remember who all was on your team? Yeah, I can remember that picture right up there. Yeah. Yeah, there was me and Red Tibbets, Gail Valandra. Red uh, Tibbets went down there too? Yeah. Uh -huh. He and I were the same group. Okay. We were, we were the same age. In fact, uh, we, we lived over here at Tibbets' lived just over the hill, not too far from us. So we read all the time. So we, and you said Calvin Valandra too? Hell yeah. Uh -huh. and Jess Claremont. The two littles. Yeah. Gus, Gus and Robert Little. And Jack with one ear. The three, the three littles. Jess Eastman. Did you play many white schools back then, or just yeah. the Indian schools? No, we played a uh, winner, uh, St. Mary, out of Sioux Falls. Played uh, St. Valentine, Mullen, Nebraska. They were, they, were, they were champs in Nebraska. Mullen was? Yeah. And you whipped them? Oh, yeah. They invited us. They invited you? They had a good team, so they invited us. So, after, so almost at the end of the season, we had an open date, so we went down and beat, beat the hell out of them. <laughs> <laughs> First year we had a coach, Mogillis. He, uh, when he came there, he made friends with a guy named uh, Henry White. I didn't name Henry Hibson. So he was one of the Fords. And then of the guards. And yet him and Jesse Eastman as two guards. And the first match they opened up for, for for basketball to get out. And we all went in there. This McGillis already had his team picked. He brought his, called his team out to go out there and practice there. And the rest of you guys could go over there and imagine that for two. So, 20, 20 more of us went over to us. The other side, we, we, were the, we were the scrubs. And they got beat. They got beat two games in a row. McGillis decided to let me put me in. He took me in. We won that game. So the next Monday of practice, he changed me at Eastman. Eastman, the school. But I, I was in then. So the next day, he made me the captain. We did, we did real well, but I got to call the call the shots. He, he put a little face in me, but he and Father Collins didn't get along. So at the end of the year, Father Collins fired him and put this Taft in there, who never played basketball. 
came back to the normal and it shattered. And he played football there. But he never he didn't know anything about basketball. So I I got to go with the team then. We got beat the final team in Chicago. In Chicago? Overtime. Oh jeez. And then and the last shot I had I had a shot from here to that corner, and I missed it. <clears throat> Seconds to go. And I, put the, I don't know, could have won that, but it's okay. We we did good. But after that 49, we don't have too, too many real any more deep snow like that. And the last few years, we haven't had it. We got six inches. We were lucky here in the last year. You, you, well, you remember these last years. Yeah. There was no snow.